to our Sunday school service. I'm so glad that you're all good and God has taken care of you. And I want us to pray. Put your hands here and we're going to pray. Thank you, God, for you've blessed us. You've been gracious and you've been merciful to us. We thank you for you've taken care of us. You've taken care of our mummies and our daddies and our siblings. We continue praying that you take care of each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we're going to sing a very simple song. And I know that you all know it. Can we sing it all together? Let's sing. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, make nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Yes, children, our God is so big and he's so strong and he's so mighty that there's nothing that our God cannot do. Last week, we learned how Peter escaped from prison. And you remember, children, we were taught that Peter was in the cell. He was in jail. And God sent an angel who helped Peter get out of prison. This week, our story will come from the book of Acts. Acts is in the New Testament. Remember, children, we have verses that come from the old and some that come from the new. Our Bible story comes from the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament. Acts chapter 13 from verse 1 to 17. Here children, Acts chapter 13 from verse 1 to 17. You can tell your mommy and your daddy to help you Read the book of Acts. We're going to run about two men, Paul and Barnabas. Remember children, Saul was Paul. And he was given the name after he accepted Jesus in his life. Remember the story of Paul going to Damascus? Yes. And after that, he became a follower of Jesus and he started preaching the good news of Jesus. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. And every time we have to talk about Jesus. Jesus came to die for our sins. One day, Paul and Barnabas, they went to a city called Antioch. But before they went there, Christians, or those people who believed in Jesus, had been praying. And when they prayed, the Holy Spirit came unto them. And Paul and Barnabas were sent to go and spread the whole gospel, or to talk about the good news of Jesus. The Holy Spirit came upon these people, and they chose Paul and Barnabas. Say with me, Paul and Barnabas. So they went to this place that was called Antioch. That was called Antioch. And when they went there, the city governor, a governor is a person who takes care of that place. He helps make decisions or make, uh, uh, try to govern, to, to rule that place. So the city governor of that place had heard about Jesus. And he wanted to be told the good news about Jesus. These children is the city governor of Antioch. And this is Paul and Barnabas. This is Paul and Barnabas. But when they went to Antioch, there was this man who didn't want the gospel of Jesus to be told. And this person did bad things. He did not do things that pleased Jesus. 
And when he went there, and he heard that Paul and Barnabas were talking about Jesus, he was not happy. And it was common that time that uh, when you became a Christian, people still referred you or still called you to the name that they knew you before. Like Paul was still referred to or called Saul. So they went and told the governor about Jesus. And this man didn't want the news of Jesus to be spread. And because the Holy Spirit was there, and the Holy Spirit, remember, we said that, the Holy Spirit comes to help us. He guides us. He helps us to talk to people. He gives us confidence, confidence so that we can be able to tell others about Jesus. And so, the Holy Spirit helped Barnabas and Paul to make this man to be bride. You know when you become bride, you do not see. And this man could not see. And he was not able to walk. And as he walked, you know when you bride and you don't see anything, it's only darkness. When you're walking, you go over things. You might go and knock someone, your friend. You might not be able to walk in a straight way. And so this person became confused and he was not able to walk. And because God works in a miraculous way, his children, when the governor saw this, remember the city governor that you were talking about, he wanted Barnabas and, and Saul to tell him about Jesus. When the city governor saw this, he believed in Jesus and he was very happy. And so children, when we do things, we should always ask God, well, ask the Holy Spirit to help us. God is able to do more than we can imagine, children. Our God is so big, and we've said that he's so powerful. Remember that he has made this man to be bright, because the gospel of Jesus has to continue, and nothing can hinder the gospel of Jesus from being spread. And we should all trust in God. We should all trust in God because our God is the true God. This man who tried to make the governor or tried to stop Paul and Barnabas from trying to spread the good news of Jesus. Remember, our God is so strong and so mighty that he did something and this man became bright and he would not see. And so... He would not have been able to continue making Paul and Barnabas to spread the word of Jesus. Remember children, our God is the true God. Our God is so powerful. Our God is so mighty and nothing can stop the word of God from being spread. And now I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to ask you some questions. Can you name for me the two men who went to Antioch? Yes. Thank you. Barnabas said Paul. How did God prove his power? Yes. He made the, the man to go bride. The pro, the, uh, he was called uh, Bra Jesus. The man who was trying to stop the gospel from being spread, he became bright. Our memory verse will come from the book of James, James chapter 2, verse 14. And it says, What good is it to say you have faith when you don't do anything to show that you really do have faith? What good is it to have faith when you really do not do anything to show that you have faith, children. Our actions speak louder than words. Our actions should show that we believe in Jesus, that we have faith in Jesus, and we trust that our God is the true God. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for helping us to know the truth. 
that you are the true God, a God that we can trust him, a God who is all powerful and a God who is in control of everything. Help us to put our faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.